Schwebeet. Hello everyone and welcome to another speed paint. This week I'll be drawing the same character three times in this video. It'll be fan art of Velvet Scarlatina from Ruby. You don't really need to know a lot about Ruby in order to watch. Really she's just a cute bunny girl who likes taking pictures. I love her a lot. So much that I drew her 12 times over the course of the year last year. Since last year was the year of the rabbit, I decided that I would choose her to draw every month. In the last few years, I've been doing this project where I choose a character to draw once a month each month for the year. Mostly I chose to do this because I really wanted my year's art summary to look a little bit more cohesive, so I thought drawing the same character for each month would probably help that. The first character that I chose to do that with was Neo from Ruby, and that was in 2022? I think. And I also at the same time chose to draw my own OC Halen for, you know, my main contents art summary. The thing was though, having two characters to do that with made it so much more difficult because I would have had to find time between working to draw both of those two characters. And not just with a quick drawing, but like to try to add a lot of detail and stuff since it would go in my art summary. So for 2023, I decided that I would only do one character. That first year where I drew Neo and Halen 12 times, there wasn't actually a specific reason that I did that, I just wanted to draw both of them. But of course, I chose this cute bunny girl from Ruby for the Year of the Rabbit. And in following that thought process, I'll be drawing 12 pictures of Yang from Ruby this year. And that is because it's the Year of the Dragon, and her name means Sunny Little Dragon, or it basically means that. And she's my favorite character from Ruby, so I'm really excited about that. I've already posted one speed paint of my monthly drawings of Yang in my shorts tab, so if you wanted to go see that, it's over there. But for now, I hope you enjoy watching me draw these velvets. Unfortunately, since partway through last year is when I actually started recording my drawings, I don't have recordings of all the drawings for the year. And even when I did start to make speed paints, I didn't record everything I drew, so I only have three recordings for you. But I think it gets the idea across well enough. Hopefully I'll be able to record all 12 pictures of Yang, so that I can have a nice full speed paint video for you at the end of the year. Speaking of that, I did mean to post this video at the end of last year, but I totally forgot. I was like, well I definitely need to get that Year of the Rabbit redraw done, and that was the one where I drew all my Maid Cafe OCs in one picture. It was like a redrawing of an old picture from 2011. And then after I was done with that, I was like, well, I'm done. I can't possibly have another thing I need to post at the end of the year, and I just forgot. <laughs> So you'll have this one at the start of this year. Better late than never, I guess. Another unfortunate thing about these recordings is that these three drawings are actually not my favorite ones that I did last year. My favorite ones are actually August and September. I'll have a compilation of the entire year's worth of drawings at the end of the video. And that just means 12 drawings. I'm not gonna post all the art I did last year because it's in the hundreds. Since art is my job, I end up having to work very hard to make a lot of pictures, so it would be a little impossible to show you everything I drew. Not to mention a lot of it YouTube wouldn't really like. But anyway, that first drawing was finished a little bit ago, I hope you liked it. That was from October, and this one's from November. The idea for this one is that she's like kind of taking a selfie, since she loves taking pictures. October I didn't really have a solid idea for, because let me tell you, as the year goes on, having different ideas for different pictures of the same character, it becomes a little bit of a struggle. I kind of told myself I wouldn't do this sort of project again this year where I drew one character at least once a month. But then I realized this year was Year of the Dragon and Yang's my favorite character. So I just had to do it again. Not to mention if I'm able to record all of it, it would make for another good video. But it's just definitely not without its stresses. I'll have to think of a lot of fun things for different pictures of Yang. The picture I drew for January already has her signature pose of her like bumping her fists together while she's activating her power. I'll have to really think of what to do for next month. Since next month is February, that month contains my favorite holiday. I love Valentine's Day. I'll definitely have to draw her in some sort of cute Valentine's outfit or something like that. Maybe I'll have her holding chocolates or something. I don't know. Thinking of that, I'm really excited for all the different pictures I could draw for Valentine's Day. Uh, I'll have to think of more fun stuff to do. Again, it's my favorite, so I definitely don't like missing out on drawing a lot for it. I could try to draw Halen for it. He's definitely my most, um, Valentine's coded? <laughs> he loves strawberries and sweets and stuff like that, and strawberries are kind of in the shape of a heart. You know, chocolate-covered strawberries are kind of like a fun little thing that you could have for a Valentine's Day picture. Just thinking about it, I'm excited already. My favorite colors are red and pink, and my favorite shape is a heart. So just like, I have so many reasons to love Valentine's Day. And I tend to treat it more like a chance to show platonic love. I know that's not really what it's about, but it's so commercialized, I don't really care. I can celebrate it however I want, you know? Not to say that I don't enjoy the couple part of it. Of course I do. Oh, I'm getting too hype about it already. Back to talking about the drawings. 
I'm actually curious, what would you choose to draw every month for a year? It's still January, so you could still have time. Even if you don't do it, I'd love to hear. I always really enjoy hearing about creative concepts that people have. It can be really inspiring. I think I asked this last week, but I'll ask again. It's still January. Do you have any resolutions for what kind of art things you want to do this year? Or any resolutions at all, really. I'd love to hear any of those. Or otherwise, do you have any plans this year that you're really looking forward to? Could be an event or a personal goal. Anything, really. When this video goes up, I'll be having someone visiting the next day. I'm really excited about that. Been looking forward to that for months. Otherwise, this year, I don't know. I kind of want to try to work harder on making more videos. Maybe try to get my revenue up with them. In order to do that, though, I would probably have to lean further into the things that people have shown that they would like to see from me. Usually, I'm just doing whatever I want, regardless of the reaction, but... Quite a few people liked my Magical Girl OC redesign video. And I'm not sure if that's because of the combination of it being a redesign and Magical Girls, or if it was because it's Magical Girls, or what? Um, because I did a follow-up video and it did about half as well, but I guess you could say that for any sort of quote-unquote series of videos that you do, the second one usually doesn't do as well. Not really an issue there, that's just kind of how things are. I guess you could say over the past year that I've been doing these speed paint videos, I've sort of been experimenting and just doing whatever and seeing what kind of sticks. Another one was when I did the humanized character designs based on Mariah Elizabeth squishies. I definitely want to do another video about that. I remember quite a few people liking that and also requesting other characters for me to do. I have a specific set of characters in mind that I want to do for it. Hopefully that does well. Otherwise, I have a lot of different Genshin art videos that I want to make and other fan art stuff, not just this sort of monthly art project thing. In fact, one of my favorite things about character design is when you can base things off of something that already exists. Like how I did those designs based on the Mariah Elizabeth squishies. I just love making humanizations. I could try to make a video on that too. I would just have to think of what kind of characters to use for it. Because while I do definitely want to make more of her characters into humans, because she has even like welcomed that. In fact, a funny story about when I posted that video is like the same day, a few hours later, she posted another video and was like, all right guys, draw my characters in different forms. And I was like, wow, really good timing. <laughs> I had done it because she sort of mentioned that in the past in her videos, but it was funny that on the same day she was like, I'm having a little contest of it. So <laughs> yeah, that, I was just like, wow, that's kind of crazy that that happened. <laughs> crazy coincidence. Uh, but anyway, I don't only want to do that with her characters. I definitely want to do that with other kind of characters, but I'll have to think of who I would want to see as a human. I could do classics like the Disney characters or some of the Pixar characters. That's always fun. But there are plenty of other fun characters out there. I'll definitely have to think really hard on who I want to do. Oh, I just remembered. In the past week, I posted sort of an old animation. I actually animated it like in either 2018 or 2019. I would have an exact date, but I had to like copy the files when I had to switch computers and such and that sort of messed with stuff. So I just don't really know when it was actually created, but I know it was before 2020. <laughs> So that animation was like a good over three years old. And I was always really proud and excited about it, but I just never could find the strength to actually go in and make all the line art for it and clean it up and all that stuff. So I decided, eh, I'm just gonna slap some effects on it and call it done because it's been sitting there for literally years and I've never posted it even though I'm really proud of it. Uh, at least how the sketches came out, the movement anyway. The sketches themselves were really messy. And of course, since it was done when I was using a mouse and not a tablet, they're really like wobbly lines and stuff. So it doesn't look good technically, but the movement I was always really excited about. It also includes a lot of characters that I don't really draw anymore. So it's just pretty out of date in multiple ways. And I just, I really wanted to post it finally. It also helps to like kind of just add more content to my channel again, like how I said I would like to post more stuff. So I just really hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, so that's the end of this video. I really appreciate you watching and listening to me ramble. Hope you liked these three pictures, and I'll be showing you a compilation of all the pictures of Velvet that I drew last year in just a bit. Don't forget to like and subscribe. YouTube loves when I tell you to do that. I'll see you in the comments section, and additionally, if you have anything that you would like to see from me this year, do go ahead and let me know. Could be things that I didn't even mention this video. Thanks so much for watching and have a good weekend.